behind the members of Amora, and they immediately went about face and turned their attention away from the zone here, giving Honda Squidix some space and time to cap that zone. They just had to take a few seconds to make sure that that zone was in their favor, and it was. What you just watched was the Grand Finals of Loink, a low-level competitive Splatoon tournament. Loink is a tournament held once a month for newer and lower-level competitive teams. Loink is just one of the many tournaments that are held for the competitive scene. Some of them also include Swimmer Sink, Proving Grounds, Little Squid League, From the Ink Up, and many, many more. Just recently, some of these tournaments have had groundbreaking amounts of teams entering. Tournaments like SOS, Swimmer Sink, that are weekly and have a team cap, which is the amount of teams that can participate, are reaching the cap within the first day of signups being open. Loink just had the largest number of teams entered in its history back in July with over 170. It goes without saying, more and more players are joining these tournaments. But there's still plenty of players out there that have no clue how to even find these tournaments, let alone join them. That's why I'm making this video, to help you learn how to join competitive Splatoon tournaments. My name is Cactus, and this is the Beginner's Guide to Splatoon Tournaments. First things first, what is a Splatoon Tournament? A Splatoon Tournament is a competition where teams compete and put their skills and practice to the test to take home first place. Some tournaments offer prizes for winning, such as an art prize, sendu badges, and even money. For those who don't know what a sendu badge is, sendu badges are awarded to players for winning tournaments and given to those with a sendu.inc account. Sendu.inc is an extremely helpful website that offers tons of features from builds for weapons, replays of tournaments, build analyzers, map planner, and so much more. Sendu is constantly updating their website to be the best it can possibly be for the community. I highly recommend saving this website to use for anything, it's very helpful. How do I find a Splatoon tournament? There are a few different spots you can find Splatoon tournaments. First and probably the most popular is Battlefy. Battlefy is where the majority of Splatoon tournaments are set up. By logging into Battlefy, you can head over to the search bar and search Splatoon 3 as a category, and you will find tournaments lined up for the upcoming days. By clicking on one of the tournaments, you can navigate over to the contact section of the page and join the tournament's Discord server. You'll want to be in the Discord server for any tournament you enter, so you'll be able to get notified of the start times, any announcements they may have, access to the help desk if there's ever an issue, and a few other channels these servers offer. Other locations to find tournaments are Twitter, Discord servers, and Sendu. Servers I'd recommend joining for tournaments are Inkling Performance Lab, From the Ink Up, Little Squid League, Dapple Productions, Splatoon Stronghold, and Mulloway Institute of Turfing, just to name a few. These servers hold tournaments of their own, but also may have a competitive feed section of their server that will notify of any other sort of tournaments that may be running soon. Some Twitter accounts to follow are IPL Splatoon, Little Squid League, Splatoon Stronghold, Dapple Productions, From the Ink Up, and Mulloway IT, just to name a few. I'll leave links to the servers and Twitter accounts below. These accounts will promote their tournaments and also are a great way to begin to start following competitive as a whole. They tweet out results from their tournaments and help you see teams and players that are rising in the scene. How to play in a Splatoon tournament Before I get into how to play, I need to go over something very important. Some tournaments are skill capped, meaning you have to be of a certain skill to enter. The specific skill caps revolve around Ludi divisions. Ludi, or League to Ludi Inc., is a competition that is held once or twice a year. It is a tournament where teams compete, and they take your results once the competition is finished, and place you in a division of teams similar in your skill level, depending on how well you did. At the making of this video, there are currently 11 divisions. Div X, or 1, being the very top players and teams, and Div 11 being newer teams and players to the scene. Tournaments like From the Ink Up and Little Squid League are for players and teams that are fresh into the competitive scene and haven't competed much at all yet. These are fantastic tournaments to get your feet wet into the competitive scene and get a taste of what it's like. Tournaments like Low Ink are similar to From the Ink Up and Little Squid League, but have a higher cap, meaning teams of other divisions can enter. Some tournaments like Swimmer Sink, Squid Junction, and Proving Grounds have no skill cap, meaning players that are brand new to competitive or some of the best players in the game can compete. Tournaments without a skill cap allow for the possibility of really good teams getting beaten by teams thought to be lower in skill, but have worked hard to prove they can be just as good, if not better. Now that that's out of the way, here's how to enter a Splatoon tournament. Step 1 is finding a team to play with. 
If you're already on a team, you've completed the first step. If you aren't on a team, but still want to participate in a tournament, head on over to the sub channel or looking for game channel or something similar in the Discord for that tournament. These channels allow for players to find teams or other players to participate with. Some tournaments like Loink offer a sub application channel where you can input any results you have or request to be a sub for teams that may need one. If you are interested in trying out for teams to enter in tournaments repeatedly with, I recommend checking out my video on the guide to competitive Splatoon. There I go over a step-by-step -step guide to trying out and joining a Splatoon team. Step 2. Signing up. Once you have a team ready to go, you'll want to make your way over to Battle 5. Once here, locate the tournaments you want to participate in. Before anything, be sure to read the rules. They include information on how to specifically sign up and also include the skill cap I mentioned earlier. If you're not sure you qualify to enter in the tournament, feel free to ask questions in the help desk channel of the tournament's Discord. The tournament organizers are very nice and will help you any way they can. And remember, it's okay to ask questions. Now you've found the tournament you want to enter. On the right side, you'll see a Join as Team button. Go ahead and click it. Once there, you can click on a team you're already on, if you haven't made one yet, and register it on Battle 5. Once there, you can click on a team you're already on, or if you haven't made it yet, or registered it on Battlefy, you can choose to make one. Next, we'll enter in a team name, the captain of the team, which will be you, and then a team logo, if you have one. If not, it's fine to leave the logo section blank, although some teams will put a funny meme here to fill the space. If you chose a previous team you already have set, it'll fill this information out for you. Step 3. Adding players. You've officially signed up for a tournament, but your roster is a little empty. Battlefy will give you an invite link that you can give to your teammates so they can join the roster. I want to mention once again to please read the rules. Most tournaments require you to input the battle tag number on your banner in game. This way, you can be validated and confirmed with staff, and there won't be any issues during matches. Most tournaments do not allow aliases to be used, so be sure to put your correct name down, otherwise you might be disqualified. Step 4. Check in. When it gets close to the start of the tournament, Battle 5 requires you to check in your team. This basically is a confirmation that you are ready to play. Before you click that red button that says check in, make sure all of your teammates are ready to go. There have been too many times in the past that teams have clicked check in and it didn't have all four of their players ready to go. Have everyone ready to go and check in. Now you are ready to compete. Substitute players. If you for any reason do not have all four of your players, head on over to the sub channel I mentioned earlier. There are players who sometimes don't have a team to compete with or maybe couldn't find a team to play with. You can ping for a sub if needed and they will join your roster. All you have to do is contact Help Desk and ask them to add the player to your roster. Step 5. Compete. You've checked in, your team is ready, and the tournament is about to begin. Once the tournament starts, you'll make your way over to your match. There you will find who your opponent is and a chat to talk with them. You will talk to your opponent to see who will be hosting the room, the password if used, as well as how you will be joining. Splatoon 3 introduced the pool functionality, which allows you to join rooms without needing to add the other player on your Switch. Most teams use this feature, but if necessary, feel free to agree with the team to add a player to join the room. When playing your matches, be sure to always validate the mode map combination. Sometimes players mix up the sets, so just be sure to take a quick look. If everything is good, ready up and begin your match. If not, be sure to message in the chat or ask help desk if necessary. As your games conclude, be sure to report each match as you go. This helps the TOs, tournament organizers, gauge how much longer your set might be. Remember, for some tournaments, TOs need to mark your games as soon as possible so they can set up the following sets if it's a Swiss or Round Robin into bracket. Swiss or Round Robin is when you are placed in a pool of teams and go against them and get placed into a bracket depending on how well you do. Tournaments like Swim or Sink follow this guideline. Potential issues. So it goes without saying, not all tournaments go as planned. Sometimes there are delays, issues with players or teams, or just unfortunate circumstances. Regardless of what may happen, if you aren't sure how to handle it, immediately bring it up to help desk. TOs want their tournament to run as smoothly as possible. If an opposing player is being rude in the battle fight chat, has an alias when they shouldn't, has a player that isn't on their roster, is taking too long to start the match or show up, or anything else under the sun, contact help desk. You can always use the report match issue in the battle fight chat that will bring a moderator or TO over to help out. You can explain the situation and they will handle it accordingly. At the end of the day, everyone wants to have a good time. Don't be rude, take the losses as they come, and just do your best. There will always be another tournament. I would also like to quickly mention to be very patient with the TOs and help desk. Sometimes there are a lot of people having an issue at once and they can only work so fast. Be patient, 
give them time, and do not ping someone from the staff unless you're trying to make enemies with the TOs, which you do not want to do. They will get to your issue as soon as possible, and they are always ready to answer in the help desk when they can. Taking breaks. Competing in tournaments can be extremely draining. It takes a lot of energy out of you. Just like how you would take a break from playing a lot of solo queue, be sure to take a break and not enter in too many tournaments back to back. The last thing you want to do is burn yourself out. You won't play your best if you're overly stressed and tired. Taking a break to refresh your mind and skills is okay. Alternative websites. Now I know I mentioned a lot about Battlefy, but there are actually some other sites that are used for tournaments. Sark.gg and Challenge are two other sites used for tournaments. They work similarly to Battlefy, but just have a different look. Most tournaments use Battlefy, so you shouldn't worry too much. But if you end up needing to use them, it's pretty straightforward, and once again, if you run into any issues, help desk is a click away. Watching tournaments. I can't make a video about tournaments without talking about how and where to watch. Most tournaments are streamed on Twitch. The tournament you participate in will most likely have the stream link mentioned in the announcement section of their server. If you aren't sure who to start following, here are my recommendations. IPL Splatoon, Mulloway Institute of Turfing, Gappa Productions, and Nintendo. Sometimes when a tournament is ongoing, feel free to go to the Splatoon 3 category of Twitch. Some players will stream their perspective of the tournament, and you can watch and see how they play, and react while participating in a tournament. LANs. Some tournaments are held in an in-person event called LAN. LANs, and or locals, are competitions the community puts together at an in-person location to travel and compete. The most well-known events recently are Low Tide City, Riptide, Big House, and Gridlock. These are two-day events teams form and travel to and compete to take home a medal and or trophy as well as sometimes a cash prize. But it is also a great opportunity for players to come together and meet in person. I've personally attended these events and have had an absolute blast. The atmosphere is truly amazing and everyone is just so nice. You truly can't have a bad time at one of these events. If you're trying to find lands, I recommend following and joining the Splatlands Discord and Twitter. There you can find quick info on the big lands events I mentioned before. Some other servers I was able to find were Metro Inc., Splatoon Local Server, Localhost, and for those in the UK, I found Splat UK. I'm sure there are plenty more, however this is all I was able to find at the making of this video. If you personally know of some other servers or Twitter accounts, please let me know in the comments below. That pretty much wraps up everything there is when it comes to Splatoon tournaments. If you have any questions at all, or feel I missed something, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful. I can't wait to see you in the next Splatoon tournament. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next one.